Well, it's actually congratulations to the bank. Um, I've been here less than uh, a decade, um, haven't joined in 2009, but I'm blessed to be part of a group of uh, people led by, um, I've worked with two, two past presidents, you know, that are visionary. Um, we are proud of how far the bank has come. Um, our interventions in, the Af in Africa, um, the things we have been able to achieve, and we're very proud of that. We're happy about this moment of being 25 years. We can only wish ourselves a stronger um, next 25 years, you know, within the same mode of intervention that we've done in the past. You know, we pride ourselves with being able to not just to talk, but to walk the talk. And, and that shows in the kind of contributions and our interventions in Africa. So you have been a part of the struggle for uh, under a decade, but that's still... <laughs> that's still significant. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. still something Nine years. I joined in 2009, yes. And I imagine it's been a journey for you now. And uh, considering that you specifically handle intra-Africa trade portfolios, what would you say the experience has been like trying to overcome the many hurdles that Africa is constantly dealing with as part of its efforts to improve trade across the continent? No, actually, before I became the managing director for Inter-African Trade, I was actually the director for trade finance and branches. And um, so my, I have a broad view of what so the bank has So you've seen the money been, flows and the roadblocks I've been involved in it extra, but also um, Inter-Africa, more recently African trade. Um, but specific to your question on the challenges, um, you know, that we face regarding traffic and trade, the challenges are there. Um, it is actually in understanding the challenges of traffic and trade that we've tried to develop the initiatives we, that we have, one of which you, you know and interviewed me about, which is the traffic and trade fair. You know, we consider ourselves as interventionists. And the path we, trade, we have chosen to tread is actually to do... Uh, to transform Africa. Uh, current strategy is dubbed Impact 2021, Africa transformed. Oh, we, this is not lip service. This is actually walking the talk. So in the context of Intra-Africa and Trade, some of the things we are, we are working on are uh, a payment and settlement platform, for instance, and that specifically is to deal with the issue of informality of trade, you know, and the fact that we have huge informal trade, you know, um, that's you know, build, you know, because of that informality, you can't actually be able to have policy interventions, you know, to support the, the broader in traffic and trade. So the payment settlement, settlement but it's also to deal with issues of foreign currency. So we'll support payments in local currencies from either a buyer or a seller or a remitter or a recipient in local currencies. Some of the initiatives we are trying to do is to work on, on standards, not just a harmonization of standards, but to ensure that goods that are being exported from Africa or any part of Africa, or from Nigeria, for instance, and other African countries, but in the context of Inter-African trade, meet the quality standards that is expected, so that our goods are not, begin to, are not always seen as inferior. Um, so we are we're setting up testing and uh, testing inspection and certification centers, for instance. We are working on... Um, industrial parks, actually developing industrial parks, you know, so that we can begin to, you know, add and contribute to the industrialization agenda and the, the structural transformation agenda um, of many African countries by expanding our value chains. There are a couple of other initiatives we are working on, but obviously also you also know that um, to deal with the issue of lack of market, trade and market information, to be able to connect buyers and sellers, to deal with issues of, of, of countries importing, you know, from outside the continent, goods and services that their neighbors are selling. We're hosting this in traffic and trade fair um, in Cairo in December. Now, we'll get to that. But before that, my interactions with uh, stakeholders around here have revealed that issues working against intra-Africa trade can range from major infrastructure challenges to something as basic yet essential as information dissemination. A country does not know what the other country has to offer. So from your interactions and your findings, your research, who is not listening to who really? Because these are issues that, as I said, are as basic as they are essential. Look, infrastructure is a huge challenge. You know, we, we admit it, that it's a huge challenge to traffic and trade. But we, you know, while it is a huge challenge, but we also understand that today's, the infrastructure that is available today, 
you know, is able to carry one trillion dollars of trade. So are, they, are then, maximizing then the question the becomes there. why? Why is traffic and so trade so low? You know, if a lot of the trade that is happening is like traffic and trade, people say that the infrastructure that is required for traffic and trade, you know, is different from that for traffic and trade. You know, it's neither here nor there. We, the bank, in our analysis, have determined that the bigger information is the bigger issue is what you just mentioned. You know, which is the lack of access to information, right? People not knowing what Nigeria can offer. People not knowing what's available in Egypt. People not knowing what's available in South Africa. So information-wise, what, what strategies is the bank working on? I already talked to you about the trade, trade, uh, the trade fair. Okay, that's, that's the fundamental. To Where are we now with planning? Yeah, so that's planning to, on it that. has to bridge the gap between um, information gap. Because you're going to bring, um, you know, but that's not all. We're also developing a trade information portal. As part of the initiative on that in traffic and trade fair, is to develop a portal. This trade fair will host on the portal, not just physically, but also digitally. There's going to be a digital trade fair. But then what it does for us is, the, as a way, is, is to begin to build trade information that we can actually vend, you know, as, in, as, uh, as the need arises.